Shannon and I came down to Toronto for Buffer Festival. This afternoon I had Canadian A. I can't remember what it was called. It's pretty much all Canadian YouTubers, which was very cool. New channels that I'm gonna have to check out. Gonna try and keep doing a little bit of a vlog via phone. Hopefully this should work and we can get at least a little bit of footage and then go from there and putting it together when I get back. YouTube is our baby, and we always make videos for the internet, and that's the most important thing. Okay, I gotta talk a lot more, yeah, but everything I'm gonna say revolves around the episode, so let's get the episode rolling, and we can watch it, and, uh, and then we'll talk. We'll yeah, we're talking, we'll talk, talk and like fucking we'll we'll all be friends. Let's we'll take like it. pictures for Instagram, because if we don't do that, then none of this even happened. So that's super, <laughs> super, super important that at the end of this, we all take photos together. Yay! It's Saturday, it's our first, first of the day? Only of the day. Only of the day for me. First you have another day one. for me. I have, this afternoon, I have behind the scenes, yes. so, which should also be good. Hi, guys! Hi! Oh, that's a light right there. Can we turn down the sun a bit? This is like behind the scenes of the vlogs, right? It's a little secret. You come to Buffer Fest, you get to, this is the behind the scenes. So here's us waiting in line. We're seeing Nerf Fighters. Yes. So we're very excited. There's a big line. Here's the line. Okay. Well, my name's Liam Dryden. I have been making videos for six years on YouTube. I am more or less part of the Nerf Fighter community. Hello, my name is Charlie McDonald. I'm in a pretty similar situation to, to Liam. Been making videos for a very long time. Been a fan of Hank and John for a very long time. My name's Karen. Um, I make videos on the internet. Um, I've been making videos since 2008, and I was inspired by John and Hank Green to start, um, and now I just still make them. Hi, I'm Bernie Sue. Um, I actually got to meet Hank in 2011, so I'm kind of more newer than most of these great creators that are here with me, but uh, um, him and I came together and made the series called The Bad Diaries. My name is Michael Aranda, <laughs> and I work with Hank in Missoula, Montana, producing Sideshow and Crash Course, and the brain scoop and worked on Lizzie Bennett Diaries and VidCon and Hank <laughs> Games and did I say Crash Course and uh, Hank's music and anything that Hank has his fingers in I have my fingers in. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Here we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah. So we're trying to get to the red carpet for the gala. We don't know um, where we're going. We're not exactly sure where we're going. Watch where you're and it's going. really cold. I'm probably gonna walk into people. Yeah, I'm gonna good. try not to walk into people and or the street <laughs> because that would be bad. Um, but yeah. So I think we're maybe oh, somewhere. Oh, I think we found it. Somewhere where we need to be. No, oh I yeah. Think we found there, it. We did. There's a whole big lineup of people. Let okay, me see the lineup of people. Right. There's. Okay. Oh, well, we're walking some more. Okay. Also running. running, 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 That's running, necessary. running. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost at where all the people are. There's Shannon running backwards towards the people. <laughs> running! And we're almost there. My people and me. Yay! We made it! This is the whole crowd. There's my crowd of people. Yay! There's a whole big giant crowd of everybody. We're in line for women of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so. This is our second last one. This is our second last one. This is our one where all three of us are together. Yay! It's the only one. Hey, you know. But this one's gonna be good because we literally just finished having a giant discussion um, in the hostel room about. That sounds weird. It sounds like hostile, like not like hostile. Like <laughs> what is hostile conversation? It was a hostile. It wasn't hostile. actually. It wasn't actually a hostile conversation. No, it was a it was hostile very conversation. Good discourse. Of yeah. Critical thinking. Yeah. It was. So this one should be an extra yeah. interesting discussion. And it was and really good last screening. year. So. so yeah, we're looking forward to it. Meet up. There's people. Famous people doing famous people things. We went to the Women of YouTube screening and it was really good. For the first little bit of it, I was actually a little bit worried that all they were going to do was show videos because they were just Which showing... Good. good videos. Yes, they were showing really good videos, but they were just kind of showing video after video after video with no real discussion. And then in the middle, shit got real. Okay, so the first calendar for Buffer this year, yeah. um, there was no women on it. So that was, and one of the volunteers actually pointed that out to them. 
So they wanted to include that because they, they kind of just didn't realize it until somebody pointed it out. And I think that you know that something is a problem when nobody notices it until it's too late. Like that's when it's really an issue because that means that it's kind of it's kind of gone under everybody's skin, gone into the subconscious, and it's become this thing that's so normal um, that it takes a, like it takes a minute for you to be like, oh shit. You should become can become a one way conversation. But I think it's important that when you're on the internet and you're finding content to support, content to engage in, that you're finding content that makes you uncomfortable and makes you realize that you don't know everything. Um, you know, I would say we can't even really pat ourselves in the back with the Women of YouTube panel because the reality is it's a lot of white girls on stage right now. It's a lot of young white girls. And that experience is 100% valid, just like, you know, straight white males, where that experience is completely valid last night but it's not the only experience, it's not the only narrative, and it's not the only one that should be explored or celebrated. You know, just up here, we're not, we are not fully representative of the scale of gender or sexuality or race or class or any of that. So I think it's important that now that's been pointed out and that conversation is being had that we really focus on next year and as this gets bigger and as this becomes more of a film festival and there's more days, that it's not just a gala that includes you know, transsexuals and women of color and women at all and, um, you know, the LGBT community um, and people of different socioeconomic classes. Um, I think that we need to be supporting that content as an audience and that's the stuff that we really need to be pushing forward. If you have the ability to be heard on a massive scale and you have that platform, it shouldn't just be a platform for you, it should be a platform for the things that make you think and make you feel and make you want to learn because the reality is that if you don't understand that, then there are a lot of people that follow you that don't understand that and need to be educated on the same level. And then we met Corrado. Yeah, and he, from a pen yep. Yep. Awesome job, you guys are doing great. Yes, so he came up and was chit-chatting with us while we were taking selfies. Apparently this is the vlogging mirror that Shannon's in love with I now. want this space. Can I vlog here forever? Because there's a light up here and it's like god light. And then there's lights behind. Ta -da. And ow! <laughs> it's pretty much the most beautiful washroom we've ever been in. Right? Country Bumpkins! <laughs> I was just uh, eating, we just went and ate, and I got yelled at in the restaurant because Vlogumentary wasn't out yet. This random girl comes up, she's like, where is that movie? You guys announced that a year ago. And I'm like, documentaries take a long time to make. When I hit daily vlogging for three years, I had this idea. I was like, three years of making videos every day, like that's... That's an accomplishment. I should make a movie about that, right? I wanted to do something about that three years because at that point, it was really our job. This was definitely a career, and YouTube had progressed to the point, you know, by 2012, that it was a serious thing, and people were, you know, make, paying attention to it. So my vision always was to be able to introduce the world to these people that, you know, Corey has a buffer fest, and that's the goal of Vlogumentary is to bring Joe Schmo in off the street and introduce him to Michael Buckley and Wheezy Waiter and to fall in love with these people like we have and to show the world that there's some really talented, creative people that are doing stuff on YouTube. It's now Monday, unfortunately, and Buffer is over. <laughs> Shannon's sad face. And we're getting ready to go back up to Bumpkinville. <laughs> Aurelia. As the original name is. <laughs> I like Bumpkinville. I like it. It works. It's been really cool. Something that really was neat is the fact that when people talk about our generation having the opportunity for jobs and careers that didn't even exist when our parents were growing up, and I guess Buffer is the perfect example of that. So it's kind of cool. And even I was saying to Shannon that she and I are like the perfect examples of that as well. She being in media yeah. and especially media for social change, which is a very new thing. And myself being in pole fitness, it's kind of like those are both very much new fields. 
So, I mean, pole itself has been around for a long time, but as a career choice and a career path is relatively new and is still a very much growing industry. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, just being able to be around all these people from YouTube that are just doing what they absolutely love and they're creating careers for themselves. So that's very inspiring and hopefully I'll actually be able to keep up with this vlogging 